But for now, we'll see if we can win. Hi. We should be able to take this guy. The match has begun. Maybe not. I'm kind of worried here. We'll try it. As long as he just focuses down the one. At this rate, we're in trouble. I like her commentary. It's great. If I can get them to use all their mana, we should be good. Might be dead here. Yep. Maybe we can't do this yet. Crits help. Now just regular attacks should do like no damage. I don't know why he focused him down and not. So the guy, this will be close. Ah, I think he's just barely going to win, because I couldn't get that other heal off. Yep. Sad day. I don't think your reputation actually goes down if you do that, so... That's kind of annoying. Let's go back to wind here and finish this up, I suppose. Dullstone, flawed stone, that's even worse. Even worse. Those absolutely have no like value whatsoever. Nothing. Like I said, it is completely random. What's in each thing every time? That should be a pretty, which is nice. Hey, what's in that huge backpack you carry? I keep wondering. Maybe books or something like that. I have many things needed for my research, but what can I say? What can you say? What is it? What? A pillow. I cannot do good research without it. A pillow? How do you use that in your orb research? Why, I put my head on it. I just cannot get a good rest without my pillow. But still, there's no need to take everything into the forest. I may need to get into the habit of spending the night in the forest. Okay. So yeah, Gil's weird. And wants to sleep in the forest. Ooh, Mel one. That's good. We're just gonna go this way to well and eh, let's go kill him. We need the levels anyway. Gotta redeem myself after that crushing defeat. Not really crushing, but it was it was a lot closer than I'd figured it'd be. For exactly what we were facing, so Okay, so we fought that Mal guy. He should still be here, just like Gil was there. Um, but he won't fight us again. Which kind of sucks. Escape book, you can use that to instantly leave a battle. So there's no, like, random chance on it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, level two stitch. It'll make more sense at level three, why I named him Stitch. Well, his, his like champion right now, his ultimate will make sense. Well, I guess he's rookie, right? There's not really a mega, so kind of just ends at ultimate. You'll see. Uh, just like how Digimon originally did. Um, so at those red lines on the little evolution bar is where you need to be to hit the next stage. You've got a brave face. You've got spirit. Oh, sure. Sure, I'll take you. All right, let's do it. Cool, random battle. Awesome. I. Okay. Okay. The first attack wins. Speed. All right. How about now? <laughs> Ow. I have a feeling he might switch. Yep. Hit the guy on the right. Yes! Alright, well that went swimmingly. <laughs> it's kind of how you want to use the books. Use and abuse. Use and abuse. You should be out of mana. Yep. So we'll just go with one last heal here. And he's a Ganui. Which is similar to the Karns, and I don't remember their other names. In Nether Dragonfly. That's kind of what they were going for with that. Except they were. That's awful! Terrible! Black and red and black and. Blue? I wanna say. You did pretty good. Nice attacks. But your guarding needs help. Anyway, to commemorate your victory over me, take this. Cool. You can now come medal. This? It's like a point card. Collect them for Hey, let's fight again. I'll take you on right now, dude. <laughs> um I think it's two Alcos that I want. Two Alco medals to get the Alco that I actually want to use. Yeah, I like using the off type ones. I don't like using the standard type ones cuz we're going to see them naturally anyway, so That's any constellation to you guys. I don't know if we'll fight the boss quite just yet. Because I would like to get another player. Where we get that. That guy lowers speed. It's like his whole thing. This is a trading thing. So you can just throw stuff in it. And it'll randomly... Yeah, alright. It'll randomly, depending on what you throw in there, there's like certain parameters, and it'll randomly spit out something. Not really sure how to manipulate it to where it'll be awesome all the time. But you can mess with them if you want. All right, now this guy uh, poisons. Real jerk. All right, it didn't actually go through, which is nice. Uh, our Ganui here would be resistant to poison.
Cool. <clears throat> sometimes I keep the Ganui, sometimes I don't. He can get really strong really quick, which is nice. Alright. I think both of these guys are coming at me. Yeah. Yeah, and they just lower speed. So we're just gonna leave. I should fight them for the experience. But at the same time... Kinda not worth. Ah, eh, whatever, we'll do it. It's just gonna eat away at my MP here. Oh, that's defense, that's not speed. Okay, my bad. Not really sure what the hell he's supposed to be either. But, whatever. We'll take it. Alright, this should be the... Yep. Hey, did you find out anything about the orb? I have looked into the literature, and major hints are... not exactly coming along as I expected. But I am certainly getting closer to the orb as I get deeper in the forest. You sure are vague. I would be happier if you would call me active. Cool. Well, I could get the initiative on him and try and flee. Or I could just wait for him to pass by me and then... Because he doesn't really seem to care about me. Okay, we'll, we'll attempt this boss with just our two our two guys here. It's probably a terrible idea, but I think it'll be okay. Especially if we get stuff like that. Uh, are you gonna come after me? No. Um, I actually... That roar thing you heard? was the boss. Anytime you're on a boss floor, stuff like that happens. Just to kind of let you know you're on a boss floor. Should be able to run around you. Yep. And there you go, boss. Okay. Good thing I heal. Uh, anytime you fight a boss, there's going to be a little cutscene like this. Interesting note... Uh, Jade Cocoon 1 came out like at almost at the tail end of the PlayStation 1 life life cycle span. Uh, this game came out way at the beginning. So that is going to be the most evolved form of that little guy we just ran past. All the bosses are going to be the most evolved form of something. A couple things we can do. Um, let's just go with hard hit. It's going to boost our attack up. He's going to lower our defense. Bosses can usually use a couple different moves. And we'll just hit him with the flame bug. Hopefully it hits. Sweet. Yep, there it is. We're gonna go for the heal. See if he's out damaging my heal. Looks like it. I'm not sure how long those last, the debuffs. I 
I think they last throughout the battle. Like, you only have to cast it the one time. He should be about dead here. One more hit? Yeah. Unless Stitch would have critted, which he decided not to for whatever reason. Bam. Okay, and dead. Bop. <laughs> Lots of experience. But they should be at least two level ups. We can almost merge them. We get Wind Shelter, which is the second Wind Forest. We also get some stuff here. Every boss always drops three things. Uh, typically, you'll get a gem that sells at a high price, stranger. Some type of attacking thing for battle, and... Okay, he's a bug. And you'll usually get a boosting, a stat boosting item for the particular critter that the boss is. So apparently they're bugs. And there's a heal to the boss. Which would have been handy. Not really necessary though, so it's it's all good. We pretty much went off without a hitch there. And an Alco. Which is good. This one should be the dark attack. Nope. This one's confusion. Which is super annoying. As it is in most games. I don't really use it though. I'd rather use dark or poison. And he hit himself. Yep. And that can happen when your healer gets confused, which is really annoying. How about we not get confused? How about we not heal the bad guy again? Alright, you know what? We're just gonna stay here. If you fully heal him, you fully heal him. I really just kinda want him to run out of mana. As soon as I switch back to Stitch, he's gonna confuse me, I know it. I got a feeling. No? Alright, well. Try to do some damage here, finally. Their speed must be roughly about the same. Finally, thank you. Remember how I was saying that water types are supposed to be resistant? Yeah, there it goes. Awesome. If you have more than one minion on a side, they can attack their buddies. They won't always attack themselves. Not sure if I said that. Awesome. So we can uh, go through the forest here, and then we go to Wind Shelter. Usually it's a good idea to clear out all the, like, do all the level 1 forests, then do the level 2, and so forth and so on. Instead of just, like, beasting through one. 
Usually. Let's see if there's any more jobs real quick. Red Hot. Yeah, we kind of want that. Probably going to do that one. What do you got? Nah. Nah, not even going to mess with that. Yeah. So when it's like this where he wants an egg, there's just a random freaking chance that he'll run into that egg. There's no actual guarantee even if you take it. So if there's any eggs you have that you're not going to use, like that Alco one I picked up, just throw it in your bank and then worry about it later. Um, but we're going to do this one. So I guess um, we're going to be going to the fire place next time. <laughs>